How's it going, man? Yeah, I'm still doing uh, uh, yeah, some of the Z80 stuff. What do you need? Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely make you uh, an ice fishing jigger, an auto jigger. Makes the rod go up and down. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Not a problem. Sounds like a fun project. All right. Sounds good. Bye. All right. We're going to make an automatic ice fishing jigger. Stay tuned. Whenever I do a project like this, I like to go online and see what has already been done. Um, it'll give me ideas, it'll help with the initial design, and then I can kind of modify it or grow it from there. I like to do my own projects simply because I want to learn something from them. So I went online, I searched Google, and I wanted to look at the images for the ice fishing auto jigger. So I looked through these, there's some commercial products that do it. This one really stood out to me because I liked using this case idea. Um, I've seen something like this case at Harbor Freight. Um, so I clicked on it and actually it's also listed right here in this forum. Let's take a look. So it's by this guy Andrew Droth and it actually it's pretty cool. He's got some really nice pictures. I think this might be the uh, Harbor Freight case, but I've decided to go with something like this design. I didn't copy it completely. I wanted to learn something about motors. Um, my initial idea was we could use uh, either like an RC car motor. Uh, then I decided maybe to do something with a cam because I had recently seen an episode of the repair shop. If you've not seen it, it's a it's a, a British show where people bring in things that they want repaired. Uh, typically, they have some type of um, history with the item. It's been in their family, something like that, and they they're they're very uh, uh, tied to these items, and they need them fixed. It's part of their heritage kind of thing. And sometimes they do electronics, which is kind of interesting. So anyway, I saw on there somebody needed a, um, an animatronic butcher that was basically setting in their parents' butcher uh, window for years when they were little, and it no longer worked. So in that uh, episode, they showed how they controlled the arm with a cam so that the arm could go up and cut. So anyway, the repair shop um, episode was pretty cool. And it made me think about cams. And this actually looks like a cam right here. So I'm going to create something like this. I'm going to use a case from Harbor Freight. We're going to use the same kind of idea. There's going to be a center, I mean, I'm not a center, but a in point pivot. And um, then this is going to ride, I think, in some kind of slot. So with that, let's go and take a look at what I've done in Fusion 360. All right, so this is Fusion 360. What we're looking at right now is the sketch for the template. So you can properly cut out all the correct locations on the Harbor Freight ammo box. So this is the Harbor Freight ammo box here. Um, they're about five bucks, maybe six bucks. And the idea is, is that this Fusion 360 template looks like this when it's all said and done and that you can lay it up against the body and then mark out what you need so you can cut it so it'll be accurate. So that's what you're looking at. Basically, here is where um, the rod, bottom of the rod holder will go. This is where the rod holder slides up and down. The second drawing here, let's see, that is just the, um, Ellipse, that's the cam. Let me turn off, let's see, turn that one off the case. So this is just the cam that's basically going to fit where the motor goes. So the cam will be here and it will be able to rock that arm of the rod up and down and you'll be able to control the speed of that movement with a motor controller. So 
All right, so let's go to the bench and we'll take a look and it'll probably make a lot more sense there. All right, so basically all you do is you go through, you mark it up and you cut it out. I used a Dremel tool and a drill and now you're ready to put the motor in. Um, the, <clears throat> the rod arm, which is this rod arm goes in here, it's got to pivot up and down. And we've got a switch box that we're going to install into it. So one of the things I did was to add these 3D printed covers because the motor comes with these very small connectors. In fact, this one's already bent. Um, it's just horrible design. You're spending, I think I spent like nine or ten dollars per motor and they have these little tiny connection points that basically fall off i've already had one fall off took, took the motor apart trying to fix it nope so anyway these were 3d printed to basically protect it to keep it from bending so this goes into the case built a battery case for the 12 volt battery it's designed to fit into there um, and then the switch <clears throat> this is the switch and it basically goes <clears throat> right here and you can actually glue it then down inside there this is just an old case that I cut up um, but yeah, so it'll fit through and then we can put the knob on it, wherever that might be. All of this I kind of keyed so they can't make a mistake. Um, yeah, so where is that? Uh, oh, there it is. And there should also be, yep, I see it. And we forgot the uh, the cam. So the cam actually fits onto a hub. Yep. And then basically this goes here. And that needs to be locked in place. And then this with washers goes into here with washers on both sides. Okay, so I got it all put together. Uh, the motor, I had to wire backwards because this motor was um, running counterclockwise. So fortunately, all, all I had to do was flip it back. I took some stuff out. I've still got to tighten up all this with Loctite so it works correctly, but I wanted you to see it running. If I turn it on, You can kind of see it running here. So it's jigging a little loud, but it is jigging. I'll get a better video of it running once I tighten everything up. Okay, so this is the finalized uh, ice fishing auto jigger. If we turn it on, 
start to jig. You can control the speed as noted before. Now I don't, won't have any pictures of me um, ice fishing because I don't really want to go out and sit on the ice. But hopefully my friend will enjoy this. All right guys, another project done. Hope you guys have a good holiday season. Remember, learn something new every day. Take care.